Good morning and welcome to the Dojo Live recap show this Monday, August 14th, 2023. My name is Kim Landis and joining me is co-host America Guerrero. Hi, Ami. Hey, Kimmy. Happy Monday. Why did you laugh? Did I, I laugh because, no, I was laughing because the intro video was all glitchy and weird for me and I'm like, <laughs> I guess we're live. I don't know. Let's do it. So yeah, you know, the, the beauties of a live show. So what do we do here on the recap show? We talk all about our opinions and thoughts of last week's show, shows in this case, plural, uh, as a way to incentivize you to watch it. If you haven't watched them yet, you can check out all of our shows at dojo.live, our YouTube channel. And elsewhere. And of course, we want to introduce what we've got coming up this week as well. So last week, we had two great shows. First up was Bruno Ver, who is the co-founder and CEO of Niftify. Uh, and he talked all about the Bitcoin era. Will blockchain and AI be forced but useful to human beings? Following that up was a conversation with Jan Rass Friedman, who's the co-founder and CEO of Super Social. This was all about the metaverse and redefining brand realities and transcending conventional marketing methods. So first up, let's talk about Bruno. I think his last name is actually pronounced Veer. Um, and yeah, the Bitcoin era. What were some of your takeaways from that show in Niftify? It helped me to understand first Niftify and then these NFT new technology with blockchain. So I will give you some context. Niftify is a platform that helps small and medium businesses, artists, and larger companies transition to Web3 by integrating NFT technology into their e-commerce operations. So if you don't know what NFTs are, well, non-fungible non tokens. tokens. Exactly. These are used to authenticate and verify our ownership of items, such as art pieces or fashion accessories. By connecting physical products with NFTs, business can prevent track ownership and offer enhanced experiences to customers. So this is what we discuss and um, maybe you can add something more about ai or do you want me to continue kim because i'm ready for this recap. you go you go okay so bruno he also views ai as a tool that can simplify and enhance our lives leading to better work life balance as we have discussed in other shows and job sh uh, sharing sharing in the evolving digital landscape However, he can also he also acknowledged that there are potential risks and privacy concerns associated with these technologies. So if you want to learn more, go ahead. There is a link. Watch the show. Yes, for sure. I apologize if I'm a little off right now. I think my connection's a bit touch and go. But yeah, it was a great show with Bruno. I think my takeaways, I mean, of course, we're talking about cryptocurrency. We're talking about uh, Bitcoin, NFTs, and how it all works together. But more importantly for the show was, for me, was Bruno himself. I think he's a very inspiring individual, always sort of on this cutting edge, forward thinking sort of path ever since his very first entrepreneurial days. Uh, I think he said 16, 17 years old, right? And, and really just this idea that uh, cryptocurrency, blockchain, Bitcoin, it's not going anywhere. It's, it's the future. It's just this encouragement um, to get on board, to learn what you can. And I think his final words were really just that, you know, get started, even if it's about turning $100 into crypto uh, currency and, uh, you know, just embracing that. Um, and I think you hit on a good point too, this idea that it's not a perfect system, right? Uh, and most of the time, that's the way it is, I think, with new technologies as we transition into new eras, right? Um, the, 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 um, What's the word I'm looking for here? Um, I'm at a loss for words, but the prototypes, I guess. I, in this case, we're just at the very beginning of what is Web3. And it's going to be sort of touch and go. But it doesn't mean that it's not worth trying. And um, just sort of the equalizer and the potential of what could happen now. Um, so yeah, definitely a show worth checking out. Uh, second up was Jan Yas Friedman with Super Social. And this was about the metaverse and mostly about marketing methods within that. What were some of your takeaways from Yon's show? Mm, as you said, Kim, during that show, we focus on creating immersive experiences and virtual worlds. That's how we started the conversation. And he said that there are some new platforms that offer a new generation of users, primarily those uh, born during two. 
uh, the this new uh, uh, what is the name? Decade, uh, not a decade century. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah. So in this new era, the way that we, the opportunity to interact and express themselves in 3D environments, simply integrated with technology, is just amazing. Super. Uh, he shared uh, an example how Super Social collaborated with various brands to enhance customer engagement within in, in with uh, virtual worlds. And he shared this specific example with working with a cosmetic company to create successful virtual experiences, which attract millions of users worldwide. So it is a new way to share how brands are working out there in the virtual worlds and, you know, keep going with the technology. It is amazing. Yeah, certainly cutting edge as well. And like you mentioned, a lot of the conversation was just talking about how the current users, the current people who are, you know, creating and involved in the metaverse happen to be the younger, younger, gener younger generations and just what this might mean for branding and, um, you know, product enhancement, whether that be within the metaverse itself or even taking that out into the physical world as well. And yeah. just another space, I think, for being an equalizer, certainly an interesting show and another space that um, you want to be first in this, right? So, uh, and so big brands out there, small brands out there, um, check it out. I think Super Social is a great company that can help you make that transition um, if you're interested in being on the future of what is yeah. now. And it is important to emphasize that the metaverse is still in the early stages, but the potential to blur the lines between the physical and virtual worlds present, it is exciting for everybody. Yeah, it, exciting. It's a little scary, but I think it's exciting. It's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, again, I think I like it, this idea of an equalizer, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that to me is, is encouraging. I think it's very encouraging. And I think he had, um, you know, some really great words of wisdom as well in terms of just getting started. I think that's where both of these two really overlapped is what's the worst that could happen, right? Exactly. Um, give, it, give it a try. Perfect. Um, great shows we had on Dojo Live last week. This week, we've got one show coming up for you that's going to be on Thursday, Thursday the 17th at 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, who will we be speaking with? Deepak Jain, CEO and founder at the company Wink. E-commerce revolution, the power of biometric checkout. How can biometric authentication redefine online transactions and user experiences for retailers? So don't miss the show on yeah. Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific. Biometrics. I love it. <laughs> All right. See you then. And everyone have a great week. Bye for now. Bye.